everybody, my name's Captain Lazy Guns, and you're probably wondering right now, how is everything going so quickly while my voice is staying the same? Well, because building takes such a long time on Kerbal Space Program, I decided to speed everything up and do the recording stuff afterwards so that I can sort of tell you what's happening here. So I'm building a satellite which I want to send into orbit as a test. I've recently opened my new space program. I forget what it's called. I think it was along the lines of, um, I think it, what was it? It was named something really weird. I think it will pop up a little bit later. But yes, I'm building a satellite which I want to send into orbit just to make sure that we can. Because we are a new space program, I'm not sure as to whether we have the facilities and the money and the manpower to send them off into orbit. So I've gotten two unknown spacemen people and we're sending them off into space. And if they die, then, well, we fail. We have not done a very good job. So as you can see here, I'm putting some space ports, uh, docking ports, sorry, onto the uh, spaceship so that we can put more things onto it later. But it's a pretty bare satellite. Uh, what I'm building here, this is going to be the actual bit that sends you into space. But I think I added one too many tanks because it was very heavy. Now this technique was actually taught to me by Hawk Gaming, I think it was. Um, he's Harv. Harv from Hot Gaming. I'll put a link in the description below. And as you can see here, I'm getting rid of the payload. So, well, not the payload, the fuel. Because if you have too much, then obviously your rocket's not going to go very far. So, what I've put on it is I've put on some satellites. I've put on some... I've got the solar power thingies, the solar panels. Because this thing, quite literally, is just going to go into space. It doesn't really serve any special purpose. And there is no way for it to get back down. Because I forgot to put a parachute on it. That's my fault. Whoops. <laughs> I may be able to put something back on later if I dock it. But you're going to see how it takes off. And it doesn't really take off in a very good way. It's not very balanced. Which isn't good. I wish I could make it more balanced, but I think it's because when I take off one of the fuel tanks, everything just goes wrong. So, I, we should be launching very soon. I think I'm just fixing up fuel lines here and making sure that everything's connected. It's called Watchdog Mark 2, because I made a satellite in a different game called the Watchdog, which was awesome, and it did stuff. So, here we are taking off. A very smooth takeoff. We didn't need any of the support thingies. I'm not sure what they're called, but they support it so that you don't fall, but the entire thing supported itself. And as you can see, we've got our two astronauts down there. I cannot read what their names were, but they are they are truly the heroes. Now, this is where everything starts going wrong. As you can see, we've got very slight spinniness happening to the rocket. That's not good, because very slight spinniness, when I don't have any wings or anything, turns into very big spinniness and makes it very hard to curve the rocket, do a gravity curve, and approach the apoapsis. I'm pretty sure it's called somebody who knows more about Kerbal Space Program's probably going, No! That's the wrong thing! What are you going on about? You have no idea what you're going about! And so I begin the gravity curve here. I didn't really have any set uh, altitude. I was just trying to get into space to... Well, I haven't played this game in a while, so I just wanted to know if I could get back in, and also if these astronauts were proficient enough. I'll probably send another spaceship up, probably in the next few episodes or something. This, I plan on turning this into a series in which we just do a bunch of things in Kerbal Space Program. So this is just mainly getting our bearings, making sure that we can get into space, and making sure that I have an idea of what I'm doing, because I used to always use MechJeb, which is an autopilot, but I've recently decided that I won't do that, because it's a lot easier to learn how to do something when you don't have something doing it for you. And so I just got rid of the last two fuel tanks and we've got the major one there. We're gliding towards our apoapsis, I think it's called. <laughs> I, one of them's called the apoapsis and I think it's that one. And once we get there, you'll see that I make a grave mistake. So at the moment we're just hovering. I think I speed time up. We hit out of the atmosphere just about now it was yep that right there and now the, the beautiful music's playing and we're all happy 
But now we need to glide towards our apple hapses. I'm just making sure everything's stable. You can see I'm rolling the um, the spaceship there. Just making sure everything's good. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get that curve which goes from the land to the other bit of the land. It goes over the ocean. I need to turn that into a full circle around the planet. Now I made a mistake and I'm facing my rocket the wrong way. And my rocket does not really turn very quickly. It turns very slow. And I realize that right now and I start turning it. But look how slowly it's turning. I do not make it before the little arrow thingy that I need to get to to make sure that it's a nice smooth circle. So what happens if it's, I get this really wobbly circle and then I spend the rest of this trying to make sure that I have a stable orbit. Now I do eventually hit a stable orbit, but it was just a dumb mistake on my behalf. I should have made sure that I was facing the right way. See, these things you can't do when you're launching people into space. Space is a very bad place to be if something goes wrong because you neither have ground or air, you've got death. Just surrounded by death. That's what space is. So I'm currently trying to increase the circular nature of my orbit. I'm not quite sure what that's called technically, but I flew straight past that arrow without boosting myself. So my orbit's going to go funny. As you can see here, it's not really a perfect circle. It's sort of like an oval. One side of the orbit is closer to the other. I try and slow down here, but I didn't cut off my engines quick enough. And now I've got this funny sticky out in bit. So I try and get towards that and fix my issue. But I don't do it very well. So I open my satellite things here. I open my solar panels. And I'm trying to get power. For no reason. I'm just trying to make my satellite look nice. Because <laughs> at the moment it looks pretty dumb. So as you can see I'm opening up my communications array. Getting back to speak to command. So that I can tell them that most of the mission was a success. Our pilots were a little bit drunk and sent the orbit into a funny oval and not a perfect circle. But we'll, we'll maybe leave out those details that we had too many brewskies. So I detach the rocket there and I boost away from it to try and get it away there. And so that's just gonna go flying away. Funny enough, it somehow gets ahead of us later on. It's always like four kilometers around us. You can never really see it, you can just see it on the radar. So I think the satellite actually looks all right here. It's spinning for some reason. I think I'm doing something to try and fix the orbit. Oh no, I'm trying to um, see the green thing down in the radar below. The little ball thingy that moves around. I'm trying to get that onto it. Now, I'm not very proficient with all the technical stuff on here. I sort of just know what to do, but I don't know how it works. So that's why I call things like the ball thingy or the satellite thingy. Everything is known as something thingy because I don't know the technical names because they're all really hard to figure out. And so I'm trying to approach the other side of the apoapsis. I think I'm here I'm trying to circularize my orbit. As you can see, it's slightly making it better, but I think it's sort of like one side's about 100 kilometers above sea level and the other side's about 120 kilometers above sea level so it's not it's not great but it's not deadly either i could have it so that i was like seven kilometers away and just like whiz past the ground but that would be very dangerous and i'm sure after a few cycles my satellite would probably crash out of the ground and so we're we're just sort of gliding now our dude jumps out he's gonna have a look around make sure everything's fine and dandy I'm still not sure what this dude's called. I should probably find out, but you know, he's he's a mystery man. He's taken one for the team. He's the unknown astronaut that sent our space control station things into space. So watchdogs just flying over. I'm not sure what planet that is. It's one of the planets. Man, I don't know anything about this game. I've got to fresh up on my Kerbal Space Program knowledge. But he sort of didn't like floating around space anymore. He's trying to get back inside, but isn't very good at it. And you can see there, over there you can see our old part, and it's just sort of drifting away. It just sort of stays around for a little while, and then it just disappears. 
So he's going to try and get back inside here. It's good that he has the jetpacks. Get back inside. Go, get, get back. It's safe in there. And that's our first mission. Mission successful. It was successful. Not, not perfect. But you know, we've got things to figure out, so I'll just I'll just leave it on this beautiful shot. I'm Captain Laser Guns. If you guys would like more Kerbal Space Program, let me know in the description below. Stay sexy, everyone!